Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at Science Daily. Thin film solar cells, the most efficient solar cells in uh, laboratory experiments. How defects appear and disappear in these cells? Well, basically, they're doing great in the lab, but on the industrial scale, when they try to manufacture them, they're showing a lot of defects. And it happens in the first phase of the two-phase process. They're uh, copper, indium, gallium, and selenide. Uh, type of selenium, I imagine. And uh, basically, they put these together in two different processes through a vapor gas process. And during the first process, it doesn't include the copper. And a lot of errors pop up. In the second phase, they add the copper and more selenium or selenide, and that phase is where they think they can add a self-healing aspect by just adding more copper to it. It's really that simple. Um, yeah, additional copper helps the healing process. Now, basically, it fills in the crystalline gaps left over in the uh, first process, and you do have to remove the excess copper afterwards, but, you know, it's a small price to pay if it has a so-called self-healing aspect. And uh, this could help bring thin film solar to the mainstream market. And this will increase solar efficiency, lower costs, and allow for mass adaptation in solar energy. This could be another big breakthrough in alternative energy. Of course, the links for this and the university site where this took place in Europe will be in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.